Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the Nora Sarusi Show. I have another surprise today. Every week I'm full of surprises. So, I have a really good friend of mine who is somebody that we, Joseph and I love, and his name is Christy Branku. I'm sure you all recognize the name. He has the VIP show. We did the confidential show together. We have quite a history together. Now I have another little surprise because I have somebody else. So first let me say hello to Christy. Hello Nora. Hello everybody. And this is Mr. Tudor, Tudor Branku Turku. Yeah. Hello everyone. I'm so excited. Well, we're very excited to have you here. Well, I'm glad you asked. All right, so I understood that this is your first English television interview, just for the record. All right? Is that correct? Yep. Yeah, and let's, now you're going to impress me with your English, correct? Yes. All right, so you are now, I know, eight years old. Yes, I'm eight years old. And what, what grade is that? Here, help me. Great too. Okay. And how do you find, do the other children in school speak to you in English or mostly in Romanian? Well, some of them speak very well, but some of them so and so, some of them a little, and, but I think I know the most. Well, I should think that your daddy speaks so well. and Yes. Mommy and I communicate somehow. We, we managed. We did very well on the show. Yes. We have a lot Mommy to talk is, uh, about. is behind the cameras. Uh, yes. She, uh, she's our guardian angel. Now, I heard a rumor. I want you to tell me if it's true. Somebody told me in my ear that you have your own YouTube channel. Is that right? Uh, yeah, that's kind of true. Yeah, and what do you talk about on your YouTube channel? Well, my passion and some other stuff. So what is your passion? Well, I like a kind of cartoon. What kind of cartoon? Yes. I like Paw Patrol. I know it's for babies, but it's worth it. Because I'm a YouTuber and I do so many... Original fun. movies about them. Yeah, and I'm having way too much fun. No. All right. I'm going to teach you this since you're young. You can never have way too much fun, all right? <laughs> yeah. Just for the record, I don't believe in that. You can never have too much fun. Well, I'm but having the much fun I want. That's good. Now, and do people answer you back? I mean, I don't have a YouTube channel yet, by the way. Yes. I probably should. I want to know how it works. You, they send you messages, you answer them back. How does it work? Mm, you mean... Well, you Do you mean, have comments? Uh, I think uh, it's about that. You mean like how I send them to YouTube? No, like you have a YouTube channel, right? So help yes. me through this. And you're putting some presentation together. Yes. And then people write comments, right? Yes, but um, it became to be a law that comments are disabled for YouTube channels for kids because for some reason, maybe the smallest kids that watch or my younger fans write silly things and I don't think <laughs> they fans. want to he um and I don't want me to see them so maybe but that's how you, you can communicate works. with your fans because you also have a, a Facebook account right yes with the same name I like this my younger fans <laughs> yes of course <laughs> Well, maybe some of your fans will become my fans. Of course. <laughs> Sorry. So, now I know you travel with mommy and daddy a lot. Where is the most favorite place that you've been with them that you loved? Well, one here. No, outside of Romania, when you travel. Um, what would you say is the most amazing place you've been that you loved so much? Well... I went to Dubai and it's over Europe, so I went to another part of the continent finally. You did. I, I see the pictures. Uh, I see all the we, traveling. I, I, yes, yes, of course. So, so your favorite, let's say, for the moment is Dubai. What did you like so much about it? Well, because it was warm weather. 
And this is after it snowed today. I yeah. understand that. <laughs> True. I bet you were so happy when you saw snow this morning. Yes, I do. That I wanted to make a YouTube video in the snow. I think every child was so happy about the snow. I can't say that the grown-ups were so thrilled. Of course. All right, because we have to drive in it and work our way around. Sure. So what are your plans for the weekend? Well, on Saturday I go to one of my call, uh, one of my colleagues' birthday yeah. on Saturday. And Sunday, what do you usually do? We do homework on Sundays, by the way. We also do yeah. homework. For He's sure. in grade two. You have time. Enjoy now, because when you get to grade six, there is a lot of homework. Not that I care to get involved because he's like I have a book report I'm like that's fine enjoy it I did this 50 years ago I don't want to be doing it again <laughs> sure, sure sure no really you I didn't think about be this doing before it again if I would be the 12th grade or even worse university he's even even, worse. even, even, even worse. better even better Beth. maybe even better because I'm getting older older and old, older and I'm getting a, a job finally yeah what and do you want to to do when you're I grown. want to be an engineer. An engineer. Yeah. Whoa, okay, different. I didn't expect that. I wasn't do, do sure. Do you want to build something? Well, I'm having way too much plans and I don't know what to start with. <laughs> so maybe I'm going to start with the best. Uh, you want to build a block with how many floors? Um, probably over 160. Whoa. Over 160. Okay, do you know how big a building that is? Uh, I think he's been in Dubai a long time. Yes. No, yeah. no, no. He was also at Burj Khalifa. Yeah. Isn't it? Yep, a skyscraper. Okay, that's more than a skyscraper. It really touches the clouds. Okay. And I don't think Romania is, uh, I, I don't know if they're ready for that yet. Could you imagine? Well, maybe I'm gonna make this skyscraper in maybe France or Spain or maybe Oh, we have some Germany. pictures. Look how cute. Now, yeah. I'm gonna tell you a story that Christy may not, probably doesn't your daddy even realize because he was so involved and I'm gonna share this with your mommy. When you had, there was the F uh, TV yes. uh, fashion show. Fashion show, yes. And I was actually sitting watching all this, and you went and you proposed yes. to Juana on the wrap. It was so exciting. Thank you so much. 12 years ago. <clears throat> was it 12 years ago already? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. So you weren't obviously even born or thought about yet, but I want to tell you I was there when your daddy proposed to mommy, and it was so exciting. Thank you so much. You mean you met my mother once and for all? Yeah, yeah. I met your mother many, many years ago and your daddy. And I met them also before they were together. And then obviously I, you've been to my house and yes. you've played with Joseph. Maybe you don't remember so um, often. I don't remember at all. <coughs> but, but she remembers. Well, then he doesn't remember at all. Okay, what? never mind. But she, he's honest because we spoke uh, two minutes ago about your uh, fantastic pool, and it was a beautiful uh, afternoon, Sunday afternoon with you at home. Um, I forgot. Was the pool broken? But why was it empty? Mm. You could always fill it up and have some fun. But it was full. I actually you have pictures. I was debating whether or not to put the pictures. I didn't have time to ask um, you because yes. I have some lovely pictures. Uh, of you with your daddy and your mommy, one of them waving in the pool, beautiful. Yeah, thank you. And that was fun, but I have to tell everybody the funny story. So, I'd invited Christy for a number of years. Yes. Years. And yes, then you said, I'm busy, I'm busy. But I think that time you called Christina. Yes. And, uh, and yeah, and, and just about, and I'm telling you something. She said, I'm going to Nora. And she, you said, you know, she always invites us. And she said, you should come. And you guys came, and I believe you enjoyed it, because you took Tudor out, and he was wailing. Yes. And I said, what's going on? Why is he upset? And they said, because he doesn't want to go. And I said, okay, everybody has to know there's a rule here. You come, you enjoy, and then you go home, because you, otherwise you can't come back. Of course. So I want to say thank you very much for coming on my show. And you have, right? you have a, a, a last message for, for uh, everybody? Well... Yes, kind of. What one? do you want to tell your fans? Um, what, does, what do they like the most? Uh, they like to watch Nora Serusi show. 
So, but do they like to watch my channel too? Uh, of course, if you tell them, uh, tell about your channel and so thank you so I much. So, I have a YouTube channel named Tudor Branco Turku. Make sure you press the subscribe button for more <laughs> videos and press the thumbs up button. Absolutely, thumbs up. Thank you, <laughs> yeah, Tudor Branco. So <laughs> thank you so much. <coughs> okay, so uh, this is uh, our story. This is our. Uh, uh, moment of joy. Uh, you know, he uh, he will be uh, an engineer, but he goodbye. likes goodbye. And but he likes to speak like mommy and daddy. You say, you see, you you never get bored with him. He has a lot of um, creativity. He he uh, wrote uh, scripts for his YouTube uh, uh, moments wow. uh, with the characters. It's it's an original, and I don't know if he will be for real an engineer he says he's determined i will i will be an engineer but i think he can be an artist in in no time well you look at what you do yes and he's exposed to it you know yes and because with joseph also he comes and sees that we have been doing my show we did the reality show which is getting sure. finished of now course. then we did the filming for the movie for the fight movie back to back yes and I said, I want you to see how other things work and to have a background, not only, you know, in school, in, oh, sorry, this is the one I put up. Okay, yes, do you of remember course. that? Yes, I remember. Nora was uh, invited in our show. She was, uh, it was a Texas uh, uh, theme because uh, Nora brought to Bucharest the best uh, burgers that okay. uh, was ever ma were ever made in, in Bucharest. And we have a wonderful show. I think she was uh, a lot of times. She had some awards uh, uh, because, as you know, I, we, we did in Antenna 2 an event. It, it was a confidential uh, award and she was the winner because she made a lot of great things and uh, I'm happy to be her friend. Thank you. And you know, I want to tell you about one time I remembered. We did a fashion show at the Intercontinental. I will never forget this. Yes. Because I had like 102 temperature. I had a blue dress on and I literally couldn't talk and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, some way. We managed to do it. And what was special about this show was because I didn't use models, per se. I took my secretary yeah, yeah, and yeah. my friends, and I put from all the different ages, from like 18 to like 65, and I took all the different sizes, from like 38 to like, six to let's say, 58. Perfect idea. And everybody was so... They were really blown away. Why? Because I wanted to show real people wearing the clothes. Yes. And it went over so well, Christy. I mean, this was a this was a long time ago. We don't need to talk about how long, but it was so unique, and nobody had ever done it actually. Of course, because people in the fashion in the industry they they don't think about the normal people. Uh, everybody, all the models are like like this. Uh, they are tall, but women in the nobody real world. Nobody looks like that, yes, really. Yes, of course. And I wanted to show people who are going to wear the clothes, who are going to be there, and the 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 response was so positive, of and course. I was really overwhelmed. It was I brilliant. was so thrilled. Yeah, you, you were close to the people, and that, that's about it. It's a, that's that's this uh, the, the the fashion industry. It's, it's about people, not about my dreams to do something very nice, but uh, hypothetically okay. No, because I know some of the other designers. I go to their shows. I you know with all I give them all the respect. It's not easy. Sure. But I you know at one point I just said no. I want to have you know. People who, like you see on the street, like you see at the bank, like you see, you know, when you go out for dinner. And I was so thrilled with it, and unfortunately I wasn't feeling well, but I remember doing that with you, and it was one of the best shows I think we've ever, we've yes. ever done. Yes, very, very nice. Congratulations. Well, well thank you. I, I was uh, close to Nora when she had a lot of uh, brilliant ideas about the burger, about uh, cafes, because uh, Nora is very creative she, and she has a lot of ideas. Uh, Romania cannot uh, make uh, and go with the rhythm that she has, but we are, we are living here and love the country as it is. I try. You know, when I first did my first bar, 
And I remember my father said to me, I said, I want to make a bar. And he goes, what do you know about making a bar? I said, nothing. I know how to drink. He wasn't very excited about <laughs> that. He wasn't impressed at all, and I don't blame him. And then when I made the bistro in the mall, I said, they've asked me to make a restaurant. What do you know about making food? I said, nothing, but I will learn. It's not brain surgery. And he said, Habib, you don't know, you've never bought a tile. You've never, you, you don't understand the language. You don't understand the mentality. And I said, I will learn. By the way, Christy, do you know it's 15 years I'm here? 15 years? 15. Change wow. Yeah. Change and it went like this. Of course. And it did take me time, to be very honest, to get used to the mentality. And, of course. And the rhythm, because I think my rhythm is just... You know, I work at a different speed. Yes. As my friend Marchi says, you work on the fifth speed and most people don't. Yes. But I, you know, it's sometimes very good to have that because you show people another way. And they said to me, it's going to take you four months to build. And I said, what? I need to be open by Christmas two months. They said, no, Mr. Rusi, you're not. I said, watch me. So guess what? Two months we were open. Yes, you're right. So there is a way. And when you show people, then they start thinking, you know what? There are other ways to do this. So I'm happy, thank you very much for the kind, kind words you said, but I'm happy that I can show them and, you know, we get the energy and the people together that we can create things and do things. Yes, I think it's time for everybody uh, in Romania to understand that our kind of speed is not enough to go uh, to put things uh, on because uh, that's why maybe we're not where we're supposed to be because we have creativity. I but agree with you. No? This country, I'm so glad you said it. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I want to tell you something. I'm sure if you, you'll just go and I'll agree with everything. There's so much talent here. If they put this creativity towards pushing it in a positive manner, this would be already at another level. And as a foreigner, but like living here, you know, and by osmosis I have felt, you know, getting into the rhythm, it's very frustrating for me to watch. Of course. As an outsider, but involved in Romania, because, you know, I have friends, the language, my son is born here, all and of that. your father made great things here. My father was... Mr. Serucio, you know, I know him before I met, um, before I met Nora. Uh, at the uh, year 2000, I made uh, VIP awards and, uh, in, a casino, in a casino. It was Casino Plaza. It was uh, uh, near uh, Piazza Victoria. And, and he was there a client, usual client. And I, I spoke with him. He was, uh, he was uh, uh, a man who made history, you know? He was a fine man. He was very special. My father really was, they call him the le a legend. Yes, the legend. of course. And he really was, he did so many things for so many people that I'm sure I still don't know half because I, people come and tell me stories. How your nice. father did this, your father, and I think, you know, and, and that's how he raised me and that's how I'm trying to raise Joseph, you know? We are a community, you know? And we have to help each other. Sure. And we have to grow together. And in that respect, I was lucky because he encouraged me. Because if I'm sure if Tudor comes and says, Daddy, I want to make this tomorrow, what do you know about it? Nothing. But you of learn. Of course. You fall down, you pick yourself up, and you get on, and you move on to the next thing. Of course. I didn't know how to make a hamburger, by the way. Yes. I learned. Yes, of course. And you, you have a capacity to reinvent yourself in so many ways. So that's why, until now, she was uh, a guest in my show. And now it's... And now it's a surprise to have you <laughs> yes, here. Yes, I was course. so thrilled when you said yes. Yes. Uh, I did it for you. I know you did. I know how busy you are. I know you have a taping tonight. Yes. And I appreciate your coming. Now, reinventing, you know, I don't know how much you've been watching that I also got involved in doing a reality show and then we were doing we're doing a fight movie. I know, I know, I know. And everybody <laughs> has had something to say about that. What are you doing that. in a fight movie? That's exactly what everybody has had to say about it. What are you doing? So, my partner, Edward Irimia, you yes. know him well. Sure. So, and by the way, tomorrow night, Sala Polivalenta is a big event, I think the biggest one in 10 years, for all the big fighters. It's a big, big Gala tomorrow. Yes, of course. I thought I should mention that because we will all be there. So, of course, I'm. <laughs> there were so many jokes and so many people giggling when we were filming in Mamaya last summer. 
And but I have to say, I'll say it again. Oh, you see, there's the picture from. Do really? pay attention. Wow. Okay, that was. I don't have cool, that, uh, this picture. And when I say four, I think it was we were we had four four. We, he was four years old. He was four years old. Yes, and now he he likes karate and he likes it's a lot of interesting th things in our life. No, I see he's doing all kinds of things, yes. and that's why he has a direction. You don't know where he's going to go. I don't know where Joseph is going to go. But For what sure. I was saying is, I want Joseph to be exposed to all of this. Sure. And, you know, he finds it very exciting to be on a movie set and to see how it works, how they do the blood, how they do the makeup. Maybe a little bit disappointing because I think children have a, kids have an idea in their mind and when they see how it's actually done, yeah. you blow you're the, in the, you, you the, the, the illusion. Yes. And no, they're not really, uh, you know, it's not really like that, but that's because he's older and he understands it. So I want him to be exposed to all of this. And it was funny when you were talking about college before. So because we had this conversation about college one day. And I'm going to tell you a little. See, well, I don't know if I should say. Joseph will probably going to kill me. So he said to me one time, he said, Mommy, when I go to college. And I was like, yes. And then in 30 seconds, I was like, Phew. he goes, I don't want to live in those rooms. So I said, what rooms? I said, you mean like the dorms, the dormitories? So I said, where are you going to live? So he looks at me and he says, you're going to get a house next door. And I was like, oh. Of course. Okay. <laughs> I said, well, I actually wasn't you know, planning on, on doing that. Yes, you're going to go yes, to college. Yes. You have to work because you have to do no, another no. house. You're going to go to college and I'm going to go and travel. And yes, of course. Well, Finally. that was my idea. But obviously he had a different plan for me. No. So you have I a special connection. He needs you. I know. No, we, we, You know what? Joseph and I really... I'm so blessed, and I say yes. thank God every night. He's a, he's a wonderful, wonderful boy. He's so, I'm so lucky, and he's such a good kid. And, you know, we, I love to travel with him. We try to go to new places, and not only, you know, to go look at the place, to go to the museums and to see the history. Sure. There's so much to discover out there, you know? And you want to do it, people, when you're young and you're power to walk up the steps and down the steps and walk miles. You don't want to do it when you're older, so... My advice is travel as much as you can, when you can, when you have the power. Yes. Yes. So important. And I notice that you take him, see, you take him around and it's, yes. it's uh, the best gift you can give him. The, those experiences may, uh, make him understand the way things work. Uh, he, he loves to, to discover things and, uh, and uh, I'm glad. And you know, uh, this maybe some people would say, okay, uh, it's not uh, too early for Facebook, for, for YouTube. Uh, this was a special way and Wana has this brilliant idea to make him concentrate about the way he speaks. That's why he was so good because the way he speaks, the things that he, he, he will speak, and also to be good at the, sh the school shows. He's very good because now he has, uh, he's the trained. Confidence. Yeah, the confidence, he's you trained. You can feel the confidence. Yes. And that's important in life. He, uh, I was, in my beginning I was shy, but nobody can see that uh, anymore. <laughs> but experience and uh, uh, confidence came with uh, playing and uh, talking and talking and talking and made, made things, I don't know, print, radio, TV, and that's why uh, I'm in the first show uh, when I speak less than the partner in my show. Congratulations. O only for you. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, shy. Okay, that's like an oxymoron for me. Yes. I would never, ever, that's like saying I'm shy. I'm not that shy, by the way. Really not. I, I'm, I'm friendly. I'm very open. Disquisa, I think you call yes. it. Yeah? Yes, yes. Part of disquisa. I mean, depends. If somebody doesn't get too much in my space, okay, otherwise I'm like back off a bit. But sure. I love to meet people. I, I love to yes, do that, yes, you know? Yes, yes, yes. And that's why I can do a show like this. Otherwise, they'd be like, oh my gosh. I've had people sit here so nervous, I'm like, yes. just relax. It's like being in my living room, except that there's a camera. That's it. It's not, you know, just I want everyone. Because if you're nervous, I'm going to get nervous. And then your throat, by the way, when you're nervous, your throat tightens. And people, nobody will understand anything. Sure. 
When Oops. I was uh, live on my first radio show, I came, came to, to my house and then listened and I said, that's my voice or is it? Uh, but uh, that's the beginning. Everybody has a first step. Everybody has to go on. Uh, I'm trainer at Intag Media Academy. When I, I train uh, future reporters and uh, um, makers of, the, of shows, TV shows, and, or for everything that's made in media, to, uh, to, work, to work a lot. And now I have a new project that you don't know about it. It's called Story Trainer. And uh, I uh, want, and I have a special way to do it, I want to uh, uh, teach businessmen, uh, not only businessmen, to find their perfect uh, story to make a whole lot more money. It came st it's in story telling in, uh, in all over the world. And uh, I can do this. I, made, I make uh, stories for 29, 29 years in, in media. So I, I know how to take the best story from you and to put it for everybody. So you're doing this for businessmen now? Yes. Oh, this is a new idea. I haven't heard about this before. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, I, I worked a lot the, on the last uh, year, and uh, I, you can see me already on uh, Story Trainer. It's a YouTube channel, and also I have a site, storytrainer.com, and you can see what I can do. And wow, piece of my that works. sounds very interesting, doesn't it? Something new. Because everybody knows in Romania, I know, I know how to do business. Okay, but uh, everybody was made in this world. You make, uh, I don't know, shoes best shoes. Uh, they are made very, very well. I know, but uh, there are also five, maybe ten, twenty to say, okay, I also made the be best shoes. Why I will, buy, will I buy your shoes and not his, his shoes? Because your shoes has a story. Have a story. So if you have a story, I will make a, make a connection, an emotional connection with your story. And I said, okay, I love because they have a story, the story of Nora in the store or that shoes. They have a purpose. Okay, sell me. He can sell ice to the Eskimos people. All right, so sell my boots to me. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, your uh, your uh, boots has uh, speaks about you, uh, about your story to be uh, you were and you are a stylish woman you you were all over the world and those boots are made for people who was on the best uh, VIP places in London and the uh, United States she was at, uh, at uh, last year in Great Britain and a great royal in event ah, so the if, royal you, if you want to have the shoes that went close to the Queen and to feel like you're next to the Queen you can have the shoes Ooh, he's good. Did you hear that, people? Thank you so much. Yeah, well, these are, this is, anybody who knows me probably go, okay, they're shiny, they're gold. Of course. And she loves that kind of stuff, which is true, with a little bit of snow, but never mind. Of course. We are in Bucharest and snow. <laughs> yeah. When it came to the snow, everybody... Wow, today what? I left, I came home last night, nothing, I woke up this morning, the place looked like a winter wonderland. Yes. You know, when things happen in Romania, it's not going to happen at all, or <laughs> it, everything you have, you know. It wasn't snow, but now in 12 hours we have the, the, all the snow in the, in the world. Now, Christy, this is very unusual for me, because when I first moved here, and I cried, people, I cried the first year, it was so cold, <laughs> minus 22. Yes. And so much snow, and I said, oh, Daddy, I don't know what I've done, because I come from London. No. And it, there was a lot of rain, but it was not that cold, and it was really cold. Cold. Now, it's completely different. We didn't have snow December. We didn't have snow January. It's shocking for me. Shocking. Yes, it's, it's an unusual winter. I don't know what's going on, and really global warming and all yeah, this. Yeah, sure. I, I see that there's such a difference from when I came till now, even in the summer. Yes. The summers used to be boiling. Yes. And now I think we had two months of decent weather, I yes, would say that you would say it, beach weather, and the rest yes. I don't know what happened to it. Yes. Uh, what we do every day, uh, spoil the weather and the, the nature uh, that they give, give, give us life. So that's our problem, we don't understand. We go, we, we go with the car and say, okay, if I will not go with the car, nothing will happen. We have to understand, and of course in Romania we can understand that if we ruin things, if we cut the woods or th something like this, we will pay for this.
No, we will pay for it. They will pay for it. They they will have the, the receipt. They will have the receipt. Then we have a uh, uh, not so nice. It, it was it was a it will be a, a worst world. But but the, you, they have to understand uh, the people that who is running this country that we have to change things. That's how everything we have to do. We have to be to be a, a purpose that's beyond us. But I don't know if they can. Well, you are one of the voices probably that. They, you know, people like you, they listen to. You have an audience. You have a, an out. You have a way to reach the people. You know, I can do it maybe with some of the English speaking, but as far as I'm talking about Romania and your, you know, you have a very wide audience. I know. Uh, I'm appointing you to do this. Yes, I will do it. <laughs> and uh, every night when I have the show, uh, I I try to do something. Uh, you know, everybody will ask, okay, w w what's your job? And I say, I'm a journalist. But I have to be more. Because, you know, Oprah Winfrey is not a journalist. She raised... She's a humanitarian. Humanitarian. She raised conscience. She said, okay, yes. I work to raise people's minds. My, uh, the way I do it, journalist. And I, I, uh, I ask myself, okay, what am I doing? I speak about those people, these people, and these people. Uh, what's the purpose? Where am I going? It will be okay. And one day, a famous, famous Romanian actor that he passed away, he passed away, it's Gheorghe Dinica. I made a, a beautiful um, uh, chapter on my book, one of my books, and he said, Thank you, Mr. Branco, because you understood that we are, everybody is, is on the way to their happiness. My job is to find stories from all my, of my guests, start, stories that will teach us how to be more happy and to find some essence in our lives. It's not about uh, asking if you have or you don't have, if something is in your life. Okay, this is the way I, I'm asking, but... At the end of the story, you, all the people that are, are behind the cameras and they're at home, they have to uh, find something nice and decent and something that, they, that will make their soul better. That was very well said. Thank you. Very nice. Because you have an avenue. Yes. And I'm happy that you use it for that. You know, when we talk on my show with different people and different uh, guests, <clears throat> Sorry. We talk about energy, we talk about positive, because if you're going to take the time to sit and do 45 minutes, and someone is going to take the time to watch 45 minutes, you want to be able to share, you want to be able to sure. give some positive feedback. How can we make it better? You know, what can we do? How do we get involved? That's why we are here. It's yeah. about sharing because uh, you, you can uh, ask somebody to come here and if he'll say only yes or no, why are you here? Why are you speaking about things that uh, maybe they can be nice? You know, it's like uh, eating in a, in a fast food. It can be <coughs> very interesting when you, uh, when you eat it, but they will make you worse for, for your health. So uh, it, not all the things that are in TV are the best things that we, we have to, to take. But we have to understand because we are there and our children will watch that and they will inherit the, the country and the, the world that we, we build. So every journalist has the, uh, the, a, mission, a mission to understand what can we bring to the people so the people can be more happy and to be, it has to be interesting. It's not about fairy tales. It's about struggle, uh, something nice, something bad. But it's about real life. It's about real life. And w the way we, we have to do it is to bring the people what they need. It's about them. It's not about us. Real life is struggle. Sure. The good, the bad, the ugly. Sure. Like whole. the movie. Yeah. No, because there's the great parts and there's the not so great parts. We have great days. We have lousy days. Yesterday was a day I don't care to repeat because I had a lot of stuff happen. Today was a better day. Tomorrow was an, I'm an optimist. Sure. Tomorrow will be a better day, you know, because if you look at it like, oh, tomorrow will be terrible. Day. Oh, my God, give up. People. No, no, no. Never give up. You have to look forward. You have to, you know. There's something else, and God must have put us here for a reason, and let's you know, continue to where we can go, what we can do. He's the perfect example. We want to make a better world for him. Sure. 
You know, f the famous athlete Carl Lewis from the United States has a, had a world record. He was the fastest man in the, in the world. And one day, somebody else uh, broke, the record. broke the record. And uh, the uh, reporter said to him, what do you feel right now? I think that tomorrow the sun will rise again. And that's about <laughs> it. We have to go on. That, that's why uh, I'm not staying on a, on a TV studio uh, to, to speak about, uh, the, about stories. That's why I have to go on. That's why I have this project. That's why I, uh, we were paying a lot, uh, a lot of time to make him like the, the, the world and to do nice things to be, for him to be stronger, to be prepared for that, that world. That's a reflection. Of, of course. Okay, of what you're doing. You can see that, you know? If someone, when they come and they say Joseph is like this, it's because of the time, the effort, the energy. Yes. Power, love that you put in. You, you really get back what you put out. Of course. And it's, uh, it's okay and it's the, the better way to, to have a partner. I, I'm, I'm very lucky with, with Wana because she uh, has, puts a lot of heart and she's very loving and we make a, a perfect match. Yes, I want to say that I do agree Please. that they are one of the sweetest couples I know and I love you guys together. Thank you so much. Because and I was crying when you were proposing because I was like, <laughs> oh, how sweet. Because I also know the story when she came on the show and she like ignored you and you were so yes, upset. Yes, 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 yes. And I, because I remember that you That was telling weird, me. you know. F first guess that she walks th through me and she, no, don't say nothing. Okay, it, uh, I came next I to her in the, in the uh, makeup room and I said, what, what's happening? For those of you who don't know, this is a brilliant story. Yes. Christy has to tell the story. All right, yes, so tell us what course. happened. Uh, that uh, happened uh, in January 2008. Uh, famous, uh, famous friend, uh, Ana Maria Prodan, told me, you know, I, I, I have a beautiful friend and she makes a, a real business with uh, natural professional cosmetics. They are very good. Uh, um, the, the, her business has already 20 years and he has wow. a, lot, a, lot of, uh, uh, a lot of success and uh, you can uh, c uh, look for her Instagram uh, account on Wana Turk and you see about her, her world and also on, on uh, Ardes.ro and uh, she, he said, she said to me, okay, you can invite her because she's nice. I looked at her picture and said, yes, she's a very, very nice woman. And we spoke in the weekend and, uh, and she said, what do I have to do? I make one, two, three, four. And she said, okay, it's very interesting. And uh, on uh, Monday, every, she, on her part and on my, my part, we understood that this is a special meeting. It's, it's not uh, like we met uh, a TV presenter or a host on that night. That's why she, when, for the, I don't know, maybe three or four times in my career, I have uh, 3,000 or more than 3,000 sh live shows that, that I, I was ho when I was host. And oh. I stay uh, at the stairs, at, at Antenna Star, there are a lot of stairs. Up there, I was waiting for her, and she and go, not nothing. <laughs> and I said, "What is happening? What did I do?" I, I love it. I came, uh, oh. I came uh, next to her, and I say, "Okay, it will be a nice interview." And uh, when we finished, it was like we know what we will we will uh, uh, do in our lives. She said to me, "I was wondering when you will call me." I, I, I knew that something will, will happen and I knew on that uh, moment that something is happening in my life. And uh, we spoke a few days, uh, that was 21st of January 2008 and tw uh, 25th I met her on my first date with her, she was dressed as a bride. Because she, really, you don't know that. No, no I did it, not it, know that. It was a bride's fair, really? and and uh, somebody, the 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 the, uh, the organizer said to me, "I want to, uh, you to present a show with uh, VIPs dressed in uh, brides, uh, in bridal, in bridal. In wedding dresses, wedding, wedding dresses." And I said, "Okay." She said to me, "I don't know. I will be there." And after this, she she wanted to make me a surprise. Said, I, I will not be there. So I I was there. I was present. Presenting. Uh, also, it was Adriana Bakhmutiano next to me. She was uh, the co-presenter, and she said, "Wana Turku," and I said, "What?" She didn't <laughs> tell me. And 
for the first time on oh, when I oh, saw her in the oh, first oh day, God. in the day we have the first we f first uh, meeting, we, we th first date she was dressed like a bride. Um, and nine years, nine months later, nine months, we were, she was bride again, and we get married. Well, got married. Woo! Well, I I'm, love stories like this. Thank I you. think it's and fantastic. I love you guys. I think and the message for everybody is that uh, I'm hope. sure. There's hope. There's hope, and there is somebody there that is for you. You have your heart to be open and to uh, see and make only. Uh, you can have to. You have to make only the things that is in your heart. No compromises. No sacrifice. It, it has to be pure, uh, pure happiness. Be, uh, only if you put the sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only if you put your uh, your half above you. Yeah. And she, if you if you love her, she she was there, and everything she wants, it will be the first thing that you have to do. And she did the, the same do, do the same yeah. thing for for me. Do you know why? Because it's a partnership. Yeah. I'm going to tell you from my experience in life. A soul partnership. That I have seen a lot of couples. Sure. And you know what? The one thing that I watch when I watch people, the first thing you recognize is the respect. Yeah. And that they are actually partners. It's not one trying to best the other. No, 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 no. And I can do this better. I hate it when you're right. Any of that nonsense. Because I actually have been through some of this nonsense in my life. And you don't get anywhere. And at that point, in my opinion, you're better off cutting it because you're just going to take yourself backwards. People, we have one life to live, all right? And you want to live it as healthy, healthily and as happily as you can. It has to be a balance. You have to be and here. And you are very lucky that you found, we call them soulmates, you know, that yes. you found your other, other half yes. because you connected and you felt that. Yes. And that is a blessing, Christy. Yes, it is a blessing. You know, you're very lucky. It's a blessing. And people around you can feel, I mean, I can feel it. And that's why when you say, let's do it, we, you know, there are people you want to hang out with because they're great energy, and other people you may not want to hang out so much because they're not so much en great energy. And time is precious. You want to of spend course. it with people sure. that Positive you like that and you enjoy. And that way sure. you don't feel the time go because otherwise it's like, oh my God, what a long afternoon. Yes. That's but that you can feel that connection and I'm very lucky that I have so many good friends that have you know marriages like this and friendships like this which is a pleasure for me because I enjoy to watch it and then as I said it gives the rest of us hope because you know I still hope one day I'll meet somebody that is maybe on the same wavelength because it's very hard for me sometimes to meet people we are just not on the same wavelength at all. I come from a different background. I have a different mind yes. set. I have a, it's not, it's sometimes a bit Your education and the, the, the place that you, you, you lived make, made you like you are. You are very open. You, spoke, you speak with everybody. You love to stay, but uh, to stay with people, but only with the people that can make, bring you energy and joy. And that, that's how you, you I, I like to stay with you. Last year when uh, our friend Christina has the birthday, we stay next to each other. And uh, if you stay on, on a party or, a, or a t at the table in the restaurant with Nora, it's a, uh, it's a joy and it's, it's a show. That's why she, now she has the show. You're so sweet. You're going to make me blush. But it's true. Well, I want to say thank you. It was an absolute pleasure to thank have you. you on the show. Same for me. And I want to wish you good luck with this venture, which sounds really interesting for the business yes. people. And I want to keep in touch with you because we have a lot of things going on. You have and I have. Of course. And we're going to do a lot more things in future. For sure. We will do so it. So I'd like to say thank you to Mr. Christy Breku for... Well, I, I have to say thanks. Uh, for uh, I want to thank Tudor because every day I have to speak English with him and that's why I can speak better. So thank you Tudor, you yes, made me Yes, I'd good. like to say thank you to Tudor too and send my love to Juana and say thank you all very much for joining us. See you next week. Have a good night. Ciao.